We will change Washington together. Let's get Washington to work. And with that declaration for change, Governor Rick Scott officially announced his run for the U.S. Senate. He is taking on longtime politician U.S. Senator Bill Nelson, who's held that seat since 2001. And this could go down as one of the most expensive and contentious races in Florida as Governor Scott and Senator Nelson fight for your vote. And joining us in studio this morning to discuss his run uh, in this race, Governor Rick Scott. And good morning, Governor. Thanks good for morning. It's fun to be here. Us. Yeah, nice and early, early right? <laughs> Worst kept like secret early. in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. I like early, though. I get yeah. up generally at 5 o'clock in the morning. But this is going to be a fun race. Um, we've got to change the direction of Washington. Yeah. Um, we did it in Florida. As you remember, when I ran in 2010, the state lost 832,000 jobs in four years, and now we've added 1.5 million jobs. Washington's got to start working for us. Um, they've got to reduce taxes like we did. They've got to uh, make sure they get a return on investment like we have. They've got to pay down debt like we have. We, it's our, it's, it's, this is our country. We need to fight for it. You, you say Washington's broken. You want to shake things up. How are you going to get up there and start shaking things up if you win this? Well, I'm going to go up there with a, with a very specific purpose. I'll be coming out with policy proposals. The first one I came out with yesterday was term limits. We have them in Florida. Uh, we have them for governors, which we should, and presidents, which we should. Why don't we have them for Congress? We, we've got to say we don't need career politicians. They're not getting things done for us. Now, I think it's good to have change. Uh, I think it's good that you only have two terms as governor because somebody else will come in and see what they can do better. We should do the exact same thing in Congress. So, Governor Scott, Republicans who really support our president will be the first to say that he can be polarizing. How do you plan on walking the line during the campaign of, of, of the way you want to run it and maybe the way the president wants you to run it? Well, I've been, you know, I've been governor for seven years. People know exactly who I am. They know that I grew up in public housing. They know that you know, my parents struggled to put food on the table. They, don't, they know I don't know, even know my natural dad. I'm going to go with that attitude and say, I'm going to make sure a child like that has a chance to live the dream of this country. So it's going to be my race uh, to win, and that's but to go out to the public and say, this is what I'm going to do for you. Vote for me because I'm going to do these things. That's what I said in 2010. I was clear. If you asked me what I was going to do, I said in 2010, there's seven steps to 700,000 jobs, and that's what I did. And we've done double that. Well, you definitely have a backstory that resonates with so many people. There's no doubt about that. But we have seen you kind of doing your thing. Like when the tragedy happened in Parkland, you were able to push gun control through a Republican legislature. So will you continue to kind of do your thing? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I tell people, you know, I'm who I am. I mean, I, I, you look at my background, that's why I am what I, who I am. So, but when I'm going to go to D.C., I'm not going to fit in. I didn't fit in Tallahassee. Um, the political insiders did, said, you know, Rick Scott, you know, he didn't really play by the rules. I'm going to go to D.C. and do the same thing. I'm going to represent this state. And I'm going to fight for if any issue we have. I'm going to fight for common sense solutions, not to say, oh, here's the Democrat solution or the Republican solution. This is a logical way. That's what we did with Parkland. Uh, we said, what's the logical thing to do? I brought together sheriffs and police chiefs and mental health counselors and educators and say, what's the logical things to improve safety of these schools? And that's what we did. Even if they're not popular? Absolutely. I mean, you, you've got to do what people care about. Um, and how you have to solve, people elect you to solve problems. If you, that's what I got elected to do. This state was in trouble in 2010. I mean, think about it. Home prices have dropped 48% in four years. 44% of homes were on, underwater on the mortgages when I got elected. And so what have we done now? We changed the economy. We have record funding for K-12 education. We're now the best, we, according to U.S. News Report, we have the best higher education system in this country. So we've cha completely changed the direction of the state. I'm going to go to D.C. and I'm going to do the exact same thing. All right, Governor Scott, yeah. thank you so much for joining it's us gonna live. Be fun. Yes, yeah. it's going to yeah. be a fun Come run. out to our rally today. It'll be a lot of fun. All right, it's going to be right. fun to be on the front lines watching this all unfold. Thank you, Governor.